don't do it. What's up everyone and welcome to today's video. If you are new here, welcome. And if you've been here before, welcome back. My name is Manders and this is my channel. We talk about a lot of things here, mostly makeup and skincare, sometimes nail polish. We have the occasional unboxing, but I almost always drop something. So if you're interested in any of those things, please stick around, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Today, we are doing an eyeshadow palette review. We're going to be testing the Diamond Birthstone Palette from BH Cosmetics. This is the for the month of April. That's it right there. The first thing we're gonna do is we are gonna swatch these and then we are going to create a look and I'm gonna tell you what I think. I like that these little palettes come with a full size mirror. This is the, sh every month they have a different birthstone palette and the large eyeshadow is always a representation of the birthstone itself, so this is diamond. The only thing I don't like about these palettes is that they come with a pressed glitter. I'm never gonna use that. However, I am going to swatch it for you. It comes with seven shades in all and yeah. I have already tested the emerald palette. I will leave that linked. And first things first, I'm just gonna swatch these on my arm and I'll let you know what I think. That was like the worst swatch job I think I've ever done. Other than my terrible swatch job, not bad. Um, I kind of do want to use this glitter just because that was just so smooth and beautiful. Don't do it. I am a strong believer in using a good eyeshadow base when testing a new eyeshadow palette. So I'm going to use this one from Essence. It's my favorite. If you're new here, Get ready to hear me talk about the same eyeshadow pa eyeshadow base for the rest of your life because I feel like that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to utilize the mirror in this palette and I'm just going to do that. I'm going to take a brush. I'm just going to use this brush. And I'm just going to buff that in. So I am just gonna use this white, this light shade and just set my eyes just real quick. Then I'm gonna go in with that shade Lover next. And I'm just gonna toss that into the crease. That's way lighter than I thought it was gonna be, but that's okay. Mm. It's blending out fine. I like BH Cosmetics. They make some of my favorite eyeshadows. But I am very picky because not all shadows from BH Cosmetics are created equal. The round panned ones are just crap for the most part. I do need to try, they have um some new nine pan ones. Well, they're not new. They've been out for a while. I, ha I haven't bought any makeup all summer, which I'm very proud of, S but I am going to be making an order from BH Cosmetics as soon as the, as soon as the summer is over. That is just almost too pink. I don't know. It's not horrible but it's my own fault for using it. I'm gonna go in with that shade Suave. It's a lot of pigment for that, very nice. And I'm going to take that on the outer corner and I'm gonna build, I'm gonna blend it into that pink shade, but I'm not gonna go as high and I'm gonna just drag it through the crease like that. Uh, okay. They don't look terrible together. I'm gonna go back in with the pink shade Lover and just buff everything together, make sure we are looking good. I'm super intimidated to use this shade Fearless right now. It has, I don't know what to do. I don't know what I want to do. I'm gonna go in with Fearless on this brush just a little bit and just just 
sort of smoke that out a little. But just using just the tiniest little bit. Nothing too fancy. Not bad, not bad. I'm going to use my finger and I'm going to go in with the shade Stunning right here. Because holy smokes, look at that. Oh, I love silver. I love silver. It just seems like there's too many silvers in here, to be honest. I understand they all kind of have too many, like the Emerald palette has multiple greens, but these just, they just seem like super similar. You know what I mean? But holy freaking, freaking crap, is this ever like the nicest silver eyeshadow ever? I am going to take the shade Diamond and I'm going to just pop that. It's silver too, but it's a little bit icier. And I'm going to take that on the inner corner. Is there even a difference? No. Yeah. One has a gray tone. Oh, I like that a lot. I like a lot. I am going to use this Kosas Mascara. It's one of my favorites. It's almost done. I'm gonna curl my eyelashes really quickly. It's just friggin' good mascara. I'm gonna use this one. This is the Essence Gloss in the shade Happiness in a Bottle. It's so nice. It's just a mauve. It's, it's just nice. Makes me happy. It's just such a nice color. Uh, if you haven't already heard me talk about these Essence Glosses, try them, they're so good, so good. Love them. I have a whole bunch, trust me. I love them, they're so good. And that is it. This palette, kind of boring. I like the silvers a lot. There's three silvers, so you'll never run out. Uh, they, they do have different tones. One of them super pressed glitter, glittery, which my eyes are itchy just thinking about that. So that's a no for me. Um, Suave's a nice color. This is a nice pink shade. I just, I'm not going to lie. This is probably like, meh. It's just kind of, it'll get some use, but I don't think it's going to get used as much as the Emerald palette does, for example. It's not bad, the quality is good. This actually, I have to say, this shade Stunning is super pretty. Uh, super, super creamy, super buttery. So that, that saves it right there. Probably never use this black shade very often. I don't like that it has glitter in it. That drives me bananas. I don't know why, I just can't. I got, I got problems. I love BH Cosmetics though, so it's still, it's still getting, it's still decent. If this is your color story and you think that this would work for you, the quality is pretty good. They're not expensive. They're $9 each. Do you need it? Probably not. Is your birthday April and this is the perfect color story for you? Perhaps. And that might be why you need it. Did I need it? No. I never need anything. I will have, I will say though, I haven't bought any makeup in two months now and I am super excited about that. So yay me. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me today. Please let me know in the comments below if you've tried any of the Birthstone series palettes from BH Cosmetics and have you tried this one? I hope everyone is having a fantastic day and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Thank you all so much and bye for now.